Well, thank you so much for joining us. It's Friday. Welcome to Melting Pot, a program which unravels all those issues you hear and talk about each and every day. My name is Oscar Bambuga, and I hope I find you well. Yes, do us that special favor. Just tell your neighbor, text them. Melting Pot has just started. Now, the year 2014 has come and gone with a lot of its tribulations as well as success. It is everyone's hope that uh, this year will come in with improved and uh, better standards of living. However, with a few days into the new year, the residents of Harare, um, the former Sunshine City, continue to experience the same problems in terms of service delivery by the Harare City Council. Uh, main areas of concern include the provision of clean running water, uh, sewer reticulation, waste collection, road construction, as well as the maintenance of street lights, to mention but a few. Now, to discuss these and other related issues, tonight on Melting Pot, we have two guests. I'll start by introducing the director of the Harare Residence Trust, Mr. Presa Shumba. Mr. Shumba, thank you so much for joining us on Melting Pot. Thank you, Oscar. Also on the program, we've got the chairperson of the Harare City Council Business Committee, uh, Councillor Herbert Gomba. Uh, Councillor Gomba, thank you so much for joining us on Melting Pot. Thank you, Oscar. Uh, thank you for, for the program. I'll start with you, Councillor. What is the mandate of the Harare City Council in as far as service delivery is concerned? The mandate of the Harare City Council is to provide quality service to the residents of Harare. That means uh, timeless collection of refuse, provision of potable water, uh, tiring and attending to uh, our road network. That's uh, part of what we do, provision of health services. That's what we do as the city of Harare. And, um, how would you rate yourself in as far as your performance? Uh, we can, uh, I think we have been doing well considering that uh, we have not yet uh, adequate resources to be able to uh, uh, provide quality service. But uh, looking at the, the environment that we are working within, uh, the economic environment, the political environment, I basically would want to think that we have been doing well. Uh, and uh, uh, we still have uh, three and a half years to be able to prove ourselves and we we'll continuously uh, uh, do well as we move forward. Mr. Shumba, you represent the residents. Are you, would you say the city of Ferrari is doing much in as far as their mandate is concerned? Uh, on rating, I would think that the city of Ferrari is at 5.5 uh, out of 10. Um, the residents are unhappy with the level of services. They are concerned with the, the erratic water supplies, uh, inconsistent refuse collection, uh, dilapidated and poorly maintained road infrastructure. Mm -hmm. There is ineffective representation of residents. Um, you realize that uh, the residents' issues mm -hmm. are not adequately represented mm -hmm. through the community system up to the council system. And there is a very weak responsive mechanisms to address residents' concerns. For example, when they raise issues on uh, issues of uh, refuse collection, uh, best water and sewerage pipes, there is a weak responsive system and that comes to the city management that they don't seem to have adequate capacity to address residents' issues in a consistent and strategic manner. And the residents are concerned with the prioritization of projects in the council. They are prioritizing issues that are non-issues to the residents. For example, uh, the city management we still believe it's still bloated uh, against the potential incomes of uh, the, the whole council. Mm -hmm. The council is uh, coming up with the programs that they have no capacity to fund from their own resources. There is a very weak billing system that is the revenues are being lost through leakages, through theft and organized uh, manipulation of the billing system. Just hold on there. Let's let's zoom in on the billing system. As Barutka worry, there is a lot of corruption loopholes in as far as the billing system is concerned. Um, how would you come in? I, I'm glad that uh, Mr. Shumba is raising uh, these issues, uh, and I 
think uh, you would have gotten some of the issues from uh, partly uh, how you would have reacted to it. Uh, you have seen in numerous newspapers. So you, are, you agree that the city of Harare is using a poor billing system? No, no. no. We are, I'm simply saying in terms of corruption, in terms of people siphoning money from mm -hmm. uh, using the billing system. Uh, we have had people whom we have uh, suspended, whom we have uh, disciplined because of uh, such activities. They do exist, but uh, uh, I, I'm, I'm glad that he's talking about them because we would have uh, uh, looked at it and would have corrected the situation. That's when the information then uh, uh, mm -hmm. goes to him that there are such uh, issues which are happening. In terms of uh, correcting our billing system, um, we, we are moving forward in introducing the IQ system. Uh, we have currently received uh, about uh, around uh, 300 computers uh, through the Chinese uh, 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 funding uh, for water. And uh, I'm glad that uh, soon you you will see that uh, mo most of the district offices will be connected to to our system, and uh, uh, we have a proper computer system that will be working. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. and to me, that's addressing his concern. Mr. Shumba, the city of Harare continues to send uh, water bills uh, to areas where water has not been there for years, and the residents are expected to part with their hard-earned cash for an untendered service. How, how would you come in? These issues have remained on the books of council in terms of knowledge about these things. Go to Mabuku, go to Tafara, Masasa Park, Heathcliff. The residents in those areas are concerned with the erratic water supplies. And because of the poor uh, billing system, you would realize that they deal with indiv on individual basis. That is, they would say, okay, we are going to take off the fixed water charge from the bill. We are going to take away the uh, water consumption charge on a residence bill in an area that has not received water for a long time. However, we have observed that while they are focused on issues uh, of uh, trying to uh, remove those charges, they would continue to increase the charges on a resident in areas like uh, property tax, uh, refuse collection. And we are saying as a Rally Residence Trust, our observation is that the BIQ system that they continue to use as a billing or an accounting uh, package is open to manipulation. We have discovered that they have been doing a lot of things, and even the audit by the Auditor General that was conducted on the books of the city of Ferrari, it exposed the high levels of manipulation. Just hold on there, Mr. Shumba. When we return from the break, Iwa, let us increase the temperature of the pot. We've got Mr. Shumba as well as Councillor Gomba. Please don't go anywhere. And of course, your top 10 countdown.
4986560498603 those are the two numbers get in touch with our producer what the Naiman Dima uh, give us any story ideas in as far as current affairs issues are concerned our email address is meltingpot at zbc.co.zw in the studio we've got the director of the Arari Residence Trust Mr. Presa Shumba as well as the chairperson of the Arari uh, City Council uh, Business Committee Councillor Herbert Gomba and let's continue now Councillor Herbert Gomba um, Sanindo, Mavuku, all these areas which have been mentioned by Mr. Shumba, uh, some of these areas have gone for years without water. It's incorrect to say uh, some of these areas have gone for years without water. It's, 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 uh, I, I would call it that they've been receiving water intermittently, uh, uh, sometimes receiving water. It's not that they've not been receiving water as you'd want to put it. Is that the case, Mr. Shumba? Most residents in the areas like Mafuku, Tafara, Heathcliff, uh, and the northern suburbs, that mm. is the northern suburbs, have not received consistent water supplies. For example, in Mavuku, just ahead of the shutdown, they, they had gone for nearly two weeks without water in most parts of that area. In most parts of that area. And uh, you go to Heathcliff, they don't get municipal water. Uh, if you go to areas like Borodel, Highlands, if you go to areas like Greendale, and uh, you go to areas like Westgate, people in those areas rarely get municipal water. In Masasa Park, uh, residents used to get uh, water, I think, once uh, in a week. That was what was supposed to be there. Okay. Now, Councillor Gomba, I'm going to say that I'm going to say that I'm Kushaka kwa mapai peri, chineita kuti kwa mbuku kusasuke mbura, kuneita kuti iko kuni miri kuni kwa angosena sana kutafara, kuzo kusab, inye mapai peri, inye chi iko, iyo mbure chine mbure, chumbonya sote na mbure ivanu, anyasa onda. Dambo ziri kuri po oskandere kuti harare peka wako, yaka wako, ika po adam, revelatwe, ritifanu wako pawan, vani chitama. She singa dari ki million mbura. Na hizo zo, kufa kwa nga wachita infrastructure ya chona makora chifamba chifamba, hizo nga replace iwe. Mneva kanga wa ripo nisa nda hapo. Ndoo zuru kukonze la kuti matambu zikuwa muta wa rane zao mamu wanga asinga achineta wanga achigatirisa. Batipa nzumbo za muru kutawra. Titoa rine ma message. Anotumiru wako office kwa mea. Ekutenda, mbakuna na border. Ekutenda, mbakuna na hit cliff. Kuti kubapa makatanga kugazira mvura, masondo maira apira pataka farapaya. Vamwe vatanga kuona mvura yacho. Saka ndanga ndichira amba ndichiti. Mvura ilikuwa nikwa. Bata isikuwa nikwa ndo vuma nguwa dhose. Ilikuwa nikwa nezimwe nizenguwa. Ziku konzera kuti. Vamwe wagari. Vangu wachifamba nguwa refu. Vachitaka mvura yu. Asi, siku gazirisa nyayi hoyo. Ndo basa redu, tane mwaka kiri mkanzo kutitinga tiki gadilisa. Mwaka unodarika gore, nea kutakata lesa kanzo ya wama nyenyeni. Saka isi tiku tituku gadilisa, kubapa taka sirira, pataka vamu kanzo ya wama sunda. Tiku gadilisa dambu ziku yururu, kutitinga lichipera. Asa hari gadilisa wene kanzo lichepe. Rino gadilisa wane ma residence, achise voso mayawano wana mfura. Rino gadilisa wane ministry of water. Ichi mega shua kuti madamu ano zikunzi ni musami ala akwa kutu wa gari wa wane mvura sikuwa na kwa hita makura mvura mwana nchi seventy Now talking about the residents if you go into the central business district um it now looks like mbari musika um uh, vendors selling bananas tomatoes all over the place Mr. Shumba those are magawira ni ma residents eri Dimu no mire ama resident kuti, ok, central business district, one can just vend anywhere. Eee, nyayayi ye ma vendors, haikwa nisi kutawurwa, chisinga tawuri mamiriro e ufumi wenyeka. Ajigoni kuti titawure izo zoze nyayayi ye ma vendors, chisina ze kutawura nyaya, ye kubata kwe watunda miliwe mapato ya ze matongerwe enyeka. Nekuti ma vendors haya jimbo jinji za wari kushanda wari Wari kuunzwa ne wanu wari kupakuma political parties 
wari kuwaunza wachiti iwo ndiwo wano kolekta mari ye njimbo taka siyana siyana tatendere la searare residence trust tawona kuti pane kujigiza na kuripo pane wano wari ku city treasury ni wangwe wema political parties kuti wano kwa nisa kukona ifa kubama riye kanzuru wachi wanda ni kuti haa musangano ok musangano upi wii pane nyaya ye kuti zimwe njimbo musangano upi e, mapatizi tingati kune njimbo zino kontrole wane mtc kune njimbo zino kontrole wane zanu pia basi okay. njimbo jinji za tinga ni kuta uranezo azonde ze kuti tika vapa rufaro stadium kuuya road yo ina remembrance kuuya pa na rotten road taka ida pa mpeza namo toda rika ne road yo yo ino cameroon street toda rika pa agri foods kupinda mwa pa bridge re uh, flyover re cameroon kupinda mdoroba tino wona kutipane jipoka jino shika four jino collecta mari zema vendors aya city of harare haina pa ino collecta mari tika yenda pa msa ok just hold on there what's happening city of harare he's explaining a very um a bizarre situation he said four groups of people uh collect money but the city of harare does not do that are you aware of such things as the city of harare or you're aware or you're just doing nothing we are aware oscar um, and what are you doing we have approached uh, uh, the zrp we have also approached the parliament uh, we have also ensured that our police officers the municipal police officers are able to go out there and try to uh, address the situation and arrest the situation the problem is what is the situation the situation is because they're just uh, saying situation situation yes. what is the situation the situation is that uh, uh, non political activists are, are going there to collect money on behalf of themselves and in mo most cases if you are to report to police about certain individuals you then found out that those people won't be arrested and uh, again uh, precious is, uh, is correct to say that uh, we cannot talk about this situation without analyzing the political situation that uh, contributes uh, uh, to the environment of lawlessness that we are actually uh, oh, so you're saying surviving ah let me quote you let me uh, you're saying the political environment is contributing to lawlessness yes this one we have it's affecting it's, uh, it's affecting the ability of council to be able to collect revenue because it has created some warlords in, in certain areas in which those same people won't allow council to come in and collect from there this is melting pot don't go anywhere stand by for the third and final segment i will be back shortly Welcome to Economic Forum. It is also important that besides just noting the challenges, that we celebrate the success stories. Zimbabwe remains one of the top countries in the world in terms of human talent development. No foreign investor would want to invest in a country where the local companies are not investing themselves. We are teachers to the world. Thank you for staying with us. If you're just joining us, this is the third and final segment. You're still watching Melting Pot in the studio. We've got the director, Harare Residence Trust, Mr. Presa Shumba, as well as the chairperson of the Harare City Council Business Committee, uh, Councillor Herbert Gomba. Now, he wanted to clarify on a certain audit of the Harare City Council. The Auditor General, uh, Mrs. Mildred Chiri, uh, did an audit of the financial books of Harare City Council for 2009. But because these were supposed to be ready, the audit can, could only be done in 2012. 
that is for 2009 mm -hmm. because the books of the city of Harare were not in order and one of the things that she discovered in terms of uh, revenue collection and debt recovery she i quote here billing employees were issuing fake receipts using two anonymous computers the city of Harare failed to detect the computers that were being used to generate these receipts you mean the the the, the, the billing system yes and you you the, it goes further to identify that the extended the procedures that we discovered that only four percent of the city's machines had been checked and the city of Harare official books showed that they had 800 machines yet in the reality when the auditor checked the machines there were only 134 machines the auditor is saying the oh. reason for the visual machines appeared to have been to create capacity for the perpetration of fraud by the cashiers working in cows with some IT staff. So they have been lo looting public funds okay. using technology. Using technology. Uh, city of Harare, looting funds using technology. Is that the case at the city of Harare? Looting oh, funds. Oscar, once again, uh, I've said it before. Uh, the audit uh, failed to to acknowledge efforts by this council to deal with uh, such uh, malpractices. Um, uh, there have been numerous reports in the newspaper in which uh, council has dismissed certain people because of uh, this kind of behavior. And uh, uh, in as much as uh, they, they noted uh, that... Would you call that a minor? Or a may it's, it's not minor. We, 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 call it, we call it collective efforts by uh, Harare residents. Uh, that that's including including the auditor general. If she's staying here, it's collective effort in trying to address uh, bad malpractices uh, bedeviling our society. Mr. Shimba, should the residents continuously pay in light of this? But I'm the computer. I shan't this one. It's a guy that matter was remote to body. My residents are bad. Ma residency anofanil waku ende ramberi ne ku badara ne kuti kana tiri mudoroba tino dakuti tiwe tino badara o masetsi sa tino wana asinya ya ya tiri kutaura se arare residency trust inde kuti atifanil we kuti isusu kana ma residency ataza ku badara ano uya ajivare wa mpura ne kutrete ni wakutore wa mizio yet can a council is in a good takura marara says wakaita week before christmas and the week after christmas they have not been collecting refuse in most areas yet the residents can not punish them how best should residents retaliate when the council does not provide a service yet when the residents default the city is quick to try to threaten people we are saying the residents should only pay for services rendered one on our sabadare mari when you say services rendered yeah it's a it's very ambiguous i'm gonna look at the g over the marie druguti is susu say sangan we wa gare mugare wega wega muarare akavisa pamba yega yega jisne kutano gara kupi at least ten dollars ten dollars you know but see that i got calculator with the mari you know piwa town click with butare arare nearly forty thousand pamwezi you know, the Kwaguti Muguta, Muglenora, Munetzi, but the Gangway, eight thousand. Munuese, Akabisa, Mari Ioyo, Mari Ino Badarwa, Newan, we say you are you know, Kwanisa Chete, Punge, ya cover my employees, a senior management, a council, my Iri, your council, in a Washandu and Gangoshi, eight thousand. Chimomira Magadaro, a council at Mopin, eighteen. Oscar, um, Matambu, the Gupta Pura Marada, that are the Zagazar. My residents in Duano Conzera put Marara Satakur. Or residents are to blame. Mam with my residents. Residents are to blame for refuse. Mam with my residents in Duano Conzera because I know no Noka Badara Kanakusato Badara Zachosi. Sakakasa Badara Maritz Ako, Zazuri and the Zuguti Kandura in a petrol. I not dizzy. Sakazun is a zoo. Ah, Zuma is a zoo. That's no owner. Because of my residents, oh, don't ask. Sorry, Bagomba. Come to Ramare. 
kanzuru ina yo mari kana wachitora town clerk ne ma directors wachitora mari inga ite 40000 pa mwezi woti mamwe ma directors aripo anosvika tokunga 6 izvezvi kana umwe no umwe achitora mari inga ngosvike kuma 21000 wa kuma 15000 e director mukuru town clerk otora kuma 38000 mari iyo yo opiwa zvakare nani practicing allowance ye 1000 dollars artist kuda chemist muharare Tirikuda munu adopanisa kunzuwezisa. Kana kanzu rejita ina mari. Right. Gaidi mbure ma directors. Uwa pa mari ino yendira na nesha kataru wane uru menje. 6,000. Right. Kana kutiku yenda pa nilevu ye arareho. Kana hivi ni wakazi director nutambira 15,000. Basaracho richi it kwa jino nzuwezisika. Ok. Yeah. Um, he said that the directors are being given hefty packages. 38,000. Let's hear uh, yeah, from Councillor Goma, yeah, who is now saying yeah. the council does not have money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am not going to touch our plan on the equity. Mama, my residence is good. I'm going to take a trip. So we are going to go to Badara. We can go to Vakwan. So we are going to go to Marara. Go to Shinji. We are showing. Tino, that's what my residence. Oh, Sanga, Chikwan, Sanga, Chibadar. So that one, one, I'm a safe. Kuno, no, go Badara. No, go Badara. So many, many, go and it's not going to Badar. Those rules consider out. Can't do any one can get to Kura Marara. And salary, mm -hmm. maybe quickly on salary. In terms of salaries, uh, um, this matter was addressed uh, sometime last year. We received a directive from the Minister of Local Government, a directive of which is now detailing the amount that uh, uh, these people should be earning. Uh, I, I would not agree with, I don't agree with what he's saying in terms of the figures. Uh, I, I agree well, with I that, that it. previously I, people, it. I agree that this, uh, previously these previously these people were getting a lot of money and, 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 we have, and, and I'm glad that I'm, I'm here uh, uh, giving testimony to the fact that uh, uh, this council does not condone such behavior and we are correcting and we have since corrected that you can't give us a figure a figure, a figure around uh, 12,000 well that's not important we will definitely bring these guys back on the show. Thank you very much for joining us. Uh, let me take this opportunity to thank the director of the Harare Residence Trust, Mr. Professor Shumandos Shakari. Thank you very much for joining us on Melton Port. Thank you. Let me also take this opportunity to thank Councillor Herbert Gomba. He's the chairperson of the Harare City Council Business Committee. Uh, Councillor Gomba, thank you so much for joining us on Melton Port. Thank you, Oscar. So for me, Oscar Bambuka, the producer, was the nine Mandima, not forgetting the executive producer, Admire Huni. Thank you so much uh, for watching Melting Port. And remember, never miss an episode. <laughs>